Hello everyone and welcome back to Streaming Sundays. Today is September 9th, 2018 and you are watching the second part of Contradiction. We're going to try to get this done in three streams rather than four as I originally planned. So this one's going to be a bit longer than last week's but we're going to make some more progress. So, hello to everybody in the chat. Hello, Tink. Hello, Jinergy. Hello, Lord Aridos. Hello, TC, who missed last week's, but that's okay. There's not a whole lot to catch up on. Hello, Kaylin. Hello, KJ Friend. Um, is that everybody? Hello, Kieran. Um, and I do... Hello, Kalo. I do believe that is everyone who's in the chat at the moment. Kalen does not understand room tone. Uh, room tone. Oh, yeah. Room, room tone is what uh, we all discuss... What, what the hawks call the bees. Um, the bees are just the little static noise that happens when you have dead air. So, like, what, what I do to clean my audio is I have a program that... Uh, can take a section of audio and edit it out of an entire file. So when I say room tone, I'm just making a note to myself for later, and we go yep. totally silent. We record all the ambient noise here in the apartment. It only takes about two to three seconds. And then in post, I edit that part out of my audio. So that's why my audio always sounds really clean. Obviously, I can't filter that while we're live, but I can filter it. Uh, in post. Yep, uh, Room Tone is a uh, movie making special effects or filming uh, jargon for just like getting the tone of the room so they can pull it out in post in the sound editing. That's why you don't hear buzzing anymore on your TV shows. Yep, and why uh, I try very hard to get rid of that shit when uh, we do the normal episodes too. So, in the last episode of Contradiction, we are here to investigate a murder, or it was a suicide, but it's a murder. Uh, apparently, Kate, uh, student Kate, has drowned herself, but there was another drowning a year before. And as the hammy actor, Detective Jenks, we are trying to figure out exactly what's going on. My back is really hurting. Do we have Tylenol out here? We, um, I'll go get some. Please. Holy crap. Yeah, I know. I never take pills, and my back is killing me right now. All right, so that's where we're at. Um, so as you can see here, we are 30% through the story, and we had our big twist last week, which was that there was a cult involved. So we're going to try to figure out what to do from there. And apparently I need to call the chief for an update, which is great, because that's going to give me two seconds to shut my mouth and go take some Tylenol in my face hole. But first, let's actually get to the phone box. Call the chief. And see if we can, uh, thank you, the Akamura, and see if we can, uh, get an update here. Tell me what you know, Jinx. I'm a bit lost for ideas at the moment, to be honest, sir. Anything else happened? Not really. Did I mention the student in the woods? No. A rather obnoxious student carving a devil sign into a tree. <laughs> Turned out Atlas used the symbol. Simon Thompson explained it. It's to do with the phrase they use on the course, the Three Freedoms. Ryan said he came up with it. The Three what? The Three Freedoms. It's about getting rid of your past, or something. <laughs> Sounds as daft as that stuff James Wilson was going on about. Have you found out any more about that? No, not really. Well, do a bit of research. Find out what you can about this cult. Who ran it, where they were based. Find out what Ryan Rand knows about it, particularly. Okay, Chief, I'll call later. Right up. Okay, so, is a donation really a sponsorship? Um, no, but at least according to the FCC, we're always supposed to disclose when we don't buy a product for ourselves, so, as Kayla says, this game was provided to me by him for free about it two years ago, and I just haven't gotten to it, uh, and uh, he is unconnected with the developer, I have to say that too. So, yeah, U.S. laws are kind of stupid. Okay, so there must be a contradiction somewhere. I assume it has something to do with Ryan, since they mentioned him specifically. So let's go talk to that lunatic and see. Am I capturing my mouse? No, good. Okay. So we're going to talk to Ryan again and see if we can figure out where we're going for him. A few more questions, if you don't oh. mind. Yeah, my back hurts so much, I just keep moving. Okay. 
So, um, we may have to kind of poke around a little bit and replay some of these things because it has been a week. Oh, here we go. Um, all right, so we did present him with the flyer about Third Eye. He said at first he doesn't remember seeing the flyer or the symbols, but we caught him in a contradiction there. Um, Thank you. Probably be back later. Where's the mini hint? There's like a hint that doesn't count as a the blunt light bulb. Hat. The chief suggested about finding out more about the third eye, who ran it, and where it was based. Okay. Um, the light bulb is just saying there must be a contradiction somewhere, but that doesn't help me since we've talked to like five people and yeah. I don't know where anybody is located. Uh, I, I'm questions, tempted to just burn the hint now because I just don't remember exactly uh, that's where all for we the moment. were at. Thank you. Yeah. I, I'm just I mean, gonna do it. I mean, screw it. We're not. Yeah, we're not. We're not exactly trying to hundred percent this game. So, doop 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 doop. Ryan claims he never came into contact with the third eye, but didn't he say he invented the phrase while they were based at the village hall? The flyer said the third eye was based there too. Okay, there is no way I would have remembered that. A couple more questions, if that's okay. So, uh, we're gonna give that a go. All right. So, third eye flyer. Uh, never came into contact. Oh, it's doing that lockout bullshit again. Yeah, I think it's not there's there. a straight bug because um, I can't click any of the things on the left, and I I really think that's the, that's okay. the hand symbol carving. I can't click anything on the left. Like I just straight can't even start the conversation. Yeah, but sometimes it breaks out when you click on certain things. Remember? Not until I go talk to somebody please. else. Thank you. Like. Watch, I'll, I'll even start at the top. So, wait, what the fuck? Now it's working? Wait a minute. See, now it's working for everything. Okay, so all I have to do, apparently, is just back out of a conversation, and then it'll start working again. Try the hand symbol card? Alright, um... Doesn't know how the finger symbols could be used, you um, think? Try the freedom phrase. And then... where? Oh. Uh... Ryan. Invented while based at the village hall. And then the third eye flyer. Let's see. Never came into contact with me. Yeah, there we uh -huh. go. Okay. Now we're back, baby. According to the flyer, this Hi, third eye group was based at the village hall. Is that right? Was it? Uh, that's where you were based, wasn't it? Um... Yeah, you said you invented the Atlas phrase free to be free while you were based at the village hall. So I did. So you must have come into contact with Third Eye at some point. You were using the same hall. Well, I'm afraid I haven't been entirely honest with you, Inspector. No oh, shit. Sure. You see, Third Eye, Third Eye is or was Atlas under a different name, sorry. Atlas is Third Eye? In a new improved form, yes. And you ran Third Eye? With Dad, yes. So you must have known Liam. You didn't just meet him, did you? Yes, I knew him, Inspector, but don't get your hopes up. All of this has been thoroughly investigated and cleared up. You've been investigated about his death? They dropped the case. We didn't have anything to do with it. Well, when I say drop the case, I mean, a police investigation is one thing, but what the public thinks is another. They threatened to go public, and then James Bloody Wilson started distributing his flyers, and that was it. No choice. It was an end to it. You had to change the name. We'd already paid the family an out-of-court settlement. We thought that was an end to it. But then James, his cronies, they wouldn't leave it alone. So we had to close down, buy a new place, Rebrand, so eventually we reopened here. As Atlas? As Atlas. And it worked? Uh, up till now, yes. So you knew James Wilson too? We knew James, but he didn't know us as such. Oh, he was very quick to shoot us down, but he didn't do anything like actually coming to the course to see what he was about. So James wouldn't know that you were now running Atlas? Not unless he came to one of our courses. And how much of all that stuff was true? ECT machines, brainwashing. <laughs> I'm afraid that that exists only exclusively in the mind of Mr. Wilson. 
All we do is make better business people. We challenge their prejudices and presumptions. Why don't you come along and see for yourself? The course starts in 15 minutes. Excuse me, Inspector. That is a creepy uh, ringtone. I can't come back now. Well, you have my car at the moment. All right. All right. See you later. Uh, that was that. I, I, I have to go back. You can come and meet him if you like. Well, I might come and have a chat. Come with me. Okay. The guy's emphasizing is weird. Yeah, both the actors are pretty. Oh because God, my honest, volume is all over the place. That's a great place. businessman, but he lacks imagination. He does, however, believe in the power of the individual when taught by the right teacher, of course. Ryan, in here. Just coming. He's through here. There we go. That should be better for you. Game's a bit quieter, but you can always turn it up, and we won't talk to over the conversation. Pleasure. Detective Inspector Jenks, I am investigating a death in the village. I believe you knew Kate Vine. Oh, I thought all this was dealt with, Inspector. You do know that Kate Vine was a gherkin short of a big mad. You do know. What the hell you did must that mean? My son, Inspector. He still can't summon up the courage to come straight to the point. So what do you want to know? Well, a few more questions, if you don't mind. But I do mind. I'm a very busy man. Try asking an intelligent question. Like, do I mind being quizzed about a once promising student who turned into a useless drunk? Ryan, would you mind leaving us for a while? I'll go back to the centre. I have uh, one or two things to prepare. Um, if you need me dead. You may begin, Mr. Holmes, although I'm not going to be able to help you. I don't have much to do with the course nowadays, so I can't give you any hard information. That's as maybe, but we No, need... that's as is. But if you want my opinion, I'd be quite happy to give it to you. So, uh, far away. Okay. Thank you. He's an asshole, but I well, really kind of like him. Doesn't take any prisoners. Yes. It's obvious who's put um, the strings in this family. Well, and let's I start from the top. To in their previous guys. How well did you know Kate? Hardly knew her at all. Um, met her a few times. At the course, that's about all. So when was the last time you saw her? Last uh, Friday. I just popped out of the course and. Uh, about seven. Did you speak to her then? It's possible. And how did she seem? Was she happy, sad, preoccupied? She was drunk. Okay. Uh, I doubt he's going to know anything about the driver's license. And Lord Eridos asked me to ask him about... What he third knows eye, about Third Eye. Eye. Yeah, I guess that'd be the flyer, so let's go for that. What do you know about this? So you've been graced with Goebbels company already, have you? James, our local minister for propaganda. I suppose Ryan already told you all about our actual previous incarnation. He explained, yes. Did he tell you anything scandalous? Not unless you count the suicide. Oh. These things happen. Was it your idea? Wow. The suicide? Third eye. Yeah, I suppose it was. As my son had started to atrophy, I decided I ought to give him something to do. And third eye was the same as Atlas, teaching business skills. Very similar. So Liam's death didn't prompt you to make any changes? There was nothing we could do about Liam's death, Inspector. Any more than we could do anything about Kate's. It was out of our control. You can't blame me for wondering, Paul. Two student deaths in two years. It's called a coincidence, Inspector. I expect they ate fast food also. But you're not investigating all the local chippies, are you? Somebody really hates fast food. Dude, have you tried Burger King? They're amazing. Right? Hashtag not sponsored. 
I really like this guy. I need to no, find more Arby's shitties. Arby's a shot. Hashtag not sponsored. Arby's is heavy. It I'm is heavy. Like, but... every time I eat Arby's, I feel about 20... Oh, hi, chibi girl, by the way. Every time I eat Arby's, I feel about 50 pounds heavier. Even if I've only had, like, one of their sandwiches. All right, let's ask him about Liam's death. How well did you know Liam? Liam who? Liam, who took his life. Oh. Well, as far as I remember, he was a good student, confident, outgoing. You didn't notice any problems? I believe he had problems at home. Were you there when he died? Yes. And afterwards? What? You didn't see him after the meeting? No. What was Liam like that night? No. Apart from being drunk, or possibly because of that, he seemed perfectly happy. He was drunk? Well, I assume the bottle in his hand contained whiskey and not lemonade. Lots of similarities to Kate, don't you think? Drinking, depression, is that normal for the students? People come into the Atlas course for quick solutions to their problems. And when they don't get them as quickly as they might have liked, sometimes their impatience gets the better of them. Ugh. We're getting information, but I don't think we're getting a whole lot of uh, contradictions yeah, here. Start... He's way too tight on his... Yeah, I'd search everything. Start at the top down. Start at the top down. All right. I don't think he's going to know about this, but we'll go ahead and ask him. Do you know if Kate had lost this? It's her driving license. How would I know that? You didn't see it lying around anywhere? No. That sounded honest. Um... Uh... Why would he know anything about the bike? Eh, ah, hell. Did you know anything about Simon Thompson's bike? No. Alright. <laughs> His answers are too short and to the point. He... he is... He's got to be up to yep. something. It's like, yes, click Thumbry. on the thing and it's like, Simon he wouldn't Thompson? know about no, this. No, I haven't. I wouldn't but touch you haven't anything asked about that this. has had Simon's fingers in it. Whoa. Okay. Uh. Have you seen this before? Looks familiar. Where did you find it? It was, uh, in the woods. Presumably had something to do with Kate or a killer. Well, or her that's killer. what I'm trying to establish. Shouldn't it be in an evidence bag, Inspector, in case of contamination? I didn't have one with me, unfortunately. Well. Don't go testing it for DNA, will you? It's got yours all over it. Okay, he did it. I know I've said that about like four people already, but he did it. I'm declaring he did it. What do you know about it. this? It's a freedom necklace. It's a symbol we use um, sometimes on the courts. Little bird in cage flying away. Um, freeing themselves from their past is the analogy. So do they get them when they join the course or something? No, 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 not as a rule. I think I bought one once as a present. Oh, not uh, for Kate, by any chance? <laughs> no, not for Kate. I can't really remember who it was for, a birthday present maybe for one of the students. Which student? I've no idea. Really? I don't believe your ass. Uh, If you remember right, though... Emma said Emma she got said, it from an unwanted admirer. Yeah, so I bet you it's her. But we can't prove that. I don't have anything here to try to catch him out on that. So, um... Uh, Pub argument? There was something there. Yeah. Yep. What did you hear about an argument in the pub last Friday? I didn't go to the pub last Friday. You didn't hear anything about an argument in the pub? Should I have? No, that's fine. He's too sure of himself, too smooth. So if we just I keep going down, we'll find something. Don't like his a his ass. What do you know about this? Looks like a mask. You don't recognize it? Not particularly. Looks like a monarch mask. A what? What's a monarch mask? Monarch is a fancy dress. Outfitters. Ryan goes there sometimes. Really? Good to know. Also, I just realized we don't see Jenks rummaging in his bag, so I prefer oh, to advertising poster. I prefer to think of this as like he's pulling these items out of hammer space. 
yes. And since he's always sitting, it's like he's just pulling him out of his lap. So maybe he just keeps everything down his pants. Who knows? Could you tell me a bit about like this? Like that. Had it designed by an agency. Hmm. And uh, when was that? Last year. Is that when you started the business? Yes, I suppose so. Hmm. But if Third Eye is Atlas, then he would have started at... Well, I guess that does make sense, doesn't it? Yep, that he would have started old. Atlas right after Liam's death because Liam because died. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. Have you ever seen one of these before? I believe it's a scrying mirror, pagan thing. Ever used one? Why would I use a scrying mirror? So you have no interest at all in this could. sort of thing? Yeah. No. Does the Atlas course use them at all? Not at all. Strange question. Oh, you're a strange man, sir. Know what this is, by any chance? I have no idea. Gardening isn't my kind of thing. Rebecca would probably know. I presume you've met Rebecca. Yes, I have. I'm sure she'd enjoy telling you what it is. She's the kind of woman who likes to feel superior. Would probably marry a millionaire and then decide to run her own pub. Yes, why was that? Well, she isn't exactly housewife material. She likes to be in control. Like why? Shame, isn't it, that I'm in control of both of them? Ugh. Alright. You know about drugs in general. Have you ever heard of Salvia Divinorum or Magic Mint? Sounds like it might be a drug. It's a this hallucinogenic guy makes Rebecca plant. and Ryan Fico, seem as a so of much I'm nicer, not a drug like frickin' Miles inspector. nicer. I have no enthusiasm for voluntarily poisoning your brain. And you've never seen anyone on the course taking it? Well, if someone had, they wouldn't have done it openly. We don't allow drugs or alcohol in our course. We like to tell the students that success is the best drug. Oh, well, fuck off. Why did Liam have a bottle of whiskey in his hands? This is the type of guy who will randomly tell you his IQ in normal conversation. Yeah. Just so he can feel superior to you. Alright, two more. If I did this, would it mean anything to you? I presume you've seen an Atlas student doing that. Ah, so this is an Atlas thing. Well, it wasn't exactly our idea. The students started doing it spontaneously to show commitment to the cause. Cute, really. Which student did you see doing that? I'm not sure. But he was carving it into a tree. I told him to stop. Did you really? Why? Defacing public property. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. What's the punishment for that kind of thing nowadays? Prison sentence? Oh, it's usually a fine. All right. What about defiling public liberty? Does that carry a fine too? Oddly enough, the student in question argued a similar point. Is that something you encourage on the Atlas course? We encourage people who put ideas first and moral anachronisms second. The problem with the so law. So, in the ideal Spectre world, you'd have a bunch of people defacing of cars in the street. Well, I suppose that's a freedom. matter of opinion. However, you still respect it. Respect it? I abide by it. We all play by the book, Inspector, but that's only because of the threat of possible incarceration. Yeah. All right, I guess that is, oh, we did have one more, Never mind. Can you tell me a little about the Atlas phrase, free to be free? Where did you hear that? I was talking to one of your students. It's a little phrase we conjured up to summarize our objectives. What is your objective, if you don't mind me asking? Mine, or do you mean the course's objective? On the course. The objective of the course is to free people from bondage. We teach that most people are crippled by their past, by guilt, their attitudes, their beliefs. All that kind of nonsense. Guilt cripples people. 
Feeling guilty in business is like a meat eater feeling guilty in an abattoir. Guilt comes from the archaic emotional centers of the brain. It's a vestige of our animal ancestry, that's all. In business, you heed it at your peril. I'm sorry, Inspector. My house appears to be haunted. Do you mind closing the door? Uh... So, you believe that guilt has no place in business? None at all. I have few beliefs, Inspector, but that's one of them. And what if you have done something wrong? <laughs> well, that's the whole point. Guilt has nothing to do with it. Hmm. Interesting opinion. All right. <clears throat> um, let's see. Uh, that is an interesting uh, theoretical question Tink has asked. How many people would be honest if we didn't have any laws and threat and that threaten jail time? Um, I mean, that goes back to the whole idea of why certain fiction genres are so popular, like uh, zombie survival stuff. What, because all that yeah. stuff is thrown out the window. And why in fan fiction you'll see a lot of darker tropes. Yep. Okay, so uh, somebody, I think it was TC, brought up one. Oh, he says he doesn't allow alcohol, but Liam had whiskey. I don't think... Oh, wait, Liam had been drinking all night at the seminar. So that certainly goes against the whole uh, no booze thing yeah so how's that work for you you uh -huh. twat good call tc so if you don't allow drink or drugs onto the site why did you allow liam to drink whiskey all night well we did give him various warnings did try to stop him but uh, didn't work <laughs> but you let him stay on the course yeah well we couldn't throw him out. This isn't a primary school, Inspector. So anybody We're not the can police. bring drugs onto the site, you just rules. don't allow it. If they pay their fees, they're entitled to stay on the court. And what if they want to take drugs? As long as they do it with discretion, frankly, I don't care if they want to wipe or inject paint stripper all over their face. That's not how you get high, you sir. Do any alcohol at Atlas? No. Is there a kitchen? Why, do you want to go down there and check? Well, obviously you wouldn't mind if what you're saying is true. Of course I wouldn't mind. It's past the lavatories down the corridor, but you won't find any drugs in there or alcohol. Let's go see if about that. If I find that. alcohol at Atlas or not, it probably isn't particularly relevant. But it's worth a look anyway. It is absolutely worth a look. I'll be right back, dickhole. All right. I get the feeling I might be seeing a lot of Paul tonight. Yeah, no shit. Why did we just leave everything? Wait a minute. Oh, we went back to the house, didn't we? That's what happened. We need to head back to at the uh, Atlas estate. Okay. So the kitchen must be down the corridor yeah, this, there. Yeah, this option didn't exist true. before we talked to him. Guilt is a thing that shouldn't exist in general. Remorse should take the place of guilt. No, well, guilt is a necessary emotion. Eh. Either way, as long as you learn your lesson and try to do better. And really, remorse is just a synonym of guilt. Yeah, that could just be semantics. Go over to the TV. Okay. Try a DVD from the pile. Okay. I want a TV that has a DVD player attached to it. He looks like he's speaking at like a hotel. Freedom, true freedom, means freedom from many vices that society had traditionally believed to be virtues. Self-criticism, self-doubt, guilt, Ladies and gentlemen, these are not virtues. These are sins. 
born of a fake morality implanted deep within our minds and collective consciousness by governments and religions through the ages I with the sole purpose of preventing the masses, stopping us from achieving the same success, happiness and freedom enjoyed by those at the very pinnacle of society. I'm going to show you that common morality is nothing more than the cynical creation of an elite desperate to stay in power. An elite hell-bent on preventing you from reaching your full potential by making you feel guilty for pursuing success. But the good news is that you can take back control. You can become the success you deserve to be. Atlas will give you a unique and powerful advantage. Life in all its technicolor glory can be yours. All that you have to do is to stay, embrace it, enjoy it, and learn to love your ambition. Welcome to Atlas. I don't buy it. I always, whenever someone tries to be like, I want you to be the best you can be and I'll show you how, I never buy it. I never ever buy it. Because to me it sounds like you're trying to, like you want something. Is that just the same thing? And as Ryu pointed out, he picked that DVD up a little badly. I was seeing it. Nope, same thing. Alright, fair enough. Um, but yeah, I don't buy it. He, they want something. He's not just trying to make you better for the good of your own, uh, for, for the good of yourself. He wants something out of it. Hmm, nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. It looks lived in. Like, it's not too clean. It looks like a kitchen. Uh, Interesting. Okay. Well, there's a TV right there with a DVD player. I don't think anyone will mind if I have a quick look at this. I mean, it says triple X on it, so you don't know what we're in for. We might get some uh, Asa, uh, Asa Kira stuff going on. So, uh, let's... How do I... Let's see, is it there? Yes. Let's try this out. Okay, that was a whole lot of nothing. Well, that was odd. Looked like someone pickpocketing. Why make a video of it? I saw a medicine bottle in the cabinet. What exactly? Yeah, probably they just mean like non-prescription drugs kind of thing. Okay. Well, that's uh... That's a whole lot of nothing. What else is going on at Atlas at the moment? There are some things you haven't asked. Simon, Emma, James, Rebecca, and Ryan, and Paul. Wow, there's a whole bunch of... Oh, yeah, we could ask about what the hell this DVD is. Um, well, we're here in Atlas. Let's uh, go bother Ryan. He's probably getting ready for his class anyway. All right. Huh. Okay. Let yourself go. Oh, we. Okay. Feel your soul lifting. Then wait for the moment to break free. Then break free. <laughs> Excellent, Hannah. Well. <laughs> What's going on here? Please, leave. Sorry, Ryan, there's a few more questions I have to ask you yet, and uh, time's ticking by. Leave. Okay. 
They even all lifted their masks the exact same way. Hey, there was the dude who was carving the shit in the tree. So, does this mean I can't go- yep, can't go back in. He says, Welp, if that's not a cult, I don't know what is. Indeed. Alright, at least we've got a new clue. Uh, let's... Let's go talk to Simon about that. Yeah. That's weird. We'll, we'll walk out, so just in case we get... We run into anybody on the way. Oh. Speaking of which. A lighter. Is it? It said Loctite, it looked... Oh, did it? Yeah, I don't know what that was. Hold on. I thought it was remote a control lighter. lock. A remote control that. for some sort of lock was found. Alright. No use for the remote control. I can't think of anything else that was locked that we haven't unlocked yet, so... Well, let's just walk on down to the town. Like you said, we'll, uh... We'll head to... Let's see, I need to turn it right. Yeah, we'll we'll talk to uh, Simon and Emma here. Let's see what the hell was Ask going you a on. Ask more things, please. Wait, wait, what a way to break up a court ritual. Indeed, so. Um, doll burning ceremony. What the fuck what did I just say? Doll burning. Not on the course. It's a ritual thing. It's uh, getting rid of things that you don't need. Throw it into the fire, and that's a good thing. Well, yeah, it helps you getting rid of things you don't need, so you can move on and take control again. So what are the masks for? They're just to help you get into the right frame of mind. Uh, just get you into the zone, you know, help with the trance. A trance? Remove your identity yeah, from the yeah. situation? Yeah, it's like, um, it's like self-hypnosis. We do it on the course sometimes, it's just to help you get into the right frame of mind, you know? So you hypnotize yourself? How do you do that? Just stare into a mirror and chant something, you know, just say the same thing over and over again. Or you can just close your eyes and put yourself into a trance. Some people can do that. And that's safe? Well, yeah. Hypnosis doesn't work the way that most people think it does. You can't just be hypnotized if you don't want to be hypnotized. But you can learn to hypnotize yourself. What did you say it was called? Auto-hypnosis? Self-hypnosis, auto-hypnosis, same thing, really. I think Simon was a bit too quick to play down the role of auto-hypnosis on the course. I'll have to, uh, ask around about this. Okay. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. I suppose that... We could always bother... Who's the dad? Paul? We could bother him about that. Hey, Emma, did you ever participate in a doll burning ceremony? What do you know about doll burning? Doll burning? I think it was something that they did on the course. Simon mentioned it. No, they didn't do that when you were there. No. Okay. Do you know what auto-hypnosis is? Um, James some type of self-hypnosis, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's a good yeah. point. Have you ever tried it? No, I haven't. But I think Kate was into it. She learned it from when she went to Atlas. And what did she tell you about it? Um, not a a lot really i think it helped her i think she used it as a sort of self meditation okay she wouldn't know what the lock is for so you think we should talk to Thank james you. next probably be back later yes or what since he is deus ex machina yeah, let's talk her to rebecca she might have something but like let's rebecca let's beckers go to, let's go to james after that yeah oh you like beckers i do Oh, god damn it! I keep always doing that. All right, we need to turn left. Ah. All right, let's see what Beckers is up to. Right, he says the boss dude said that he didn't know about the masks. Right. Interesting. Wait, which boss dude? Paul. Because, well, Paul... Did Paul not know? Hold no. on. It's on the mask. Uh... There's just so much shit now, I'm, like, my brain is all over the place. Paul says, hasn't seen the mask before, thinks mask is from Monarch's costumes. Ryan uses the shop. And, okay. And Ryan's response was the mask was made by a friend who died last year. Because if Paul is no longer part of, or if the story is that Paul 
is no longer dealing with Atlas, then maybe that's not a contradiction. Although but he's got a serious smug sense of yeah. superiority, the bitch. I mean, he clearly knows about it. it it's whether I can prove that mind. he doesn't know, whether I can catch him out. But uh, either way, let's. Whoa, I can ask him. Oh, yeah, we forgot about the. Uh... That's fine. Let's. Uh, what do you know about doll burning attacks? We'll do all three here for. Only that it's part backers. of the course. I'm not entirely sure what they're for, but I made dozens for him. You made them? Oh, Ryan can't make anything. He's practically dyspraxic. Dyspraxic? I don't know what that word means. To I, Google. Yes, please. Dyspraxic. And while you do that... Probably you, that his hands are fucked. Uh, uh, do you know anything about this random DVD I found? Uh, childhood developmental disorder marked by clumsiness and otherwise this. healthy children. Developmental co coordination no, disorder. Ask Ryan. Ask Ryan. Can't do that. Okay... Do you know anything about hypnosis used on the Atlas course? Are you sure you mean hypnosis or the power of persuasion? What's the difference? Not a lot. But if you want someone to do something, it's usually easier to ask nicely. I'll do anything Atlas you want, Rebecca. Atlas persuasion techniques. Well, don't all businesses use it, Inspector? Ever heard of advertising? Hmm. All right. Fair enough. Thank well, you. she didn't Probably help. All right, better. let's go talk to Deus Ex Machina then. I do like talking to her, though. Me too, for reasons that have nothing to do with being a pervert. When we're done here, we should flash the DVD to uh, Simon and Emma. Uh, so we can find there. Okay, we can do that. Okay. Ask about a few more things, please. Um... So, yeah, let's just go down this list. Seen this before. The list. No, what is it? Do you recognize it? No. Should I? Alright. That was easy. Now we'll probably get some intel. What do you know about doll burning? Doll burning? What sort of doll burning? It doesn't mean anything to you. No. Should it? No, that's okay. Huh. Auto hypnosis? That's interesting, but he doesn't know anything about it. Ever heard of auto-hypnosis, James? Self-hypnosis? Yeah. And what do you know about it? It's another name for scrying. Some people call it auto-hypnosis, I call it scrying. Right. So you're saying scrying is just self-hypnosis? Scrying? You can scry on anything. I don't use a mirror. I can scry watching the clouds. Maybe the water on a lake in the moonlight. And when you're watching the water, what happens? You go into a trance. You lose yourself in your unconscious. You go deeper and deeper. You swim around. I wonder Try if he's been crying into deep. a fire this whole time. Because if you go too deep, you start drowning. Then you get dragged down to the bottom. But as long as you stay swimming, you come to the surface again. Then you wake up and see the world as it really is. A big journey to a place people talk about, but no one's ever seen. You're thinking about Kate, aren't you? What makes you say that? She bought a mirror. Sold her one last year. Was she into using mirrors like that? No idea. But she bought one. Right. Hmm. I still don't have anything to catch him out about here, but at least we have a little bit more information. Yes. Um, That's all for the moment. So you Thank said you. you want to go back to Simon and them and ask them about the DVD? Yes. My instinct says that's uh, not going to get us anywhere, but my instinct has been garbage playing this game, so I will definitely trust you on this one. Yep, you want to try everything. Yep. That is the way to do Couple it. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Because there, there, there's clearly this isn't a Sierra game where if I pick the wrong thing, I'm gonna just wind up dead. So have you seen this before? No. No, sorry. Yeah, I think that one's gonna be a uh, Ryan. Be thing. back later on, if that's okay. Did I ask him about the mirror before? Yes, actually, the uh, 
The mirror was provided from James himself in the last episode. Before? Or rather, we stole it from him, but no. whatever. I don't think I so. I mean, we took it to show it to him, and he told us we could keep it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Ah, Probably damn, that takes all later. the fun out of it. Okay, well, that didn't get me anywhere. Um... Let's uh let's check in on what's his bucket since we're right here. Do Wait we need a minute. To call let's call the chief? No. Nah. Oh no, we need to talk to Paul about some shit. Right. And go down behind the house? Have we been behind the house? We have not been behind the house. Let's try using the little remote control lock delay. Ha 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 ha. A little more B and E. See what's up with it, do you? Bikes, guitars. So those are Ryan's guitars. Do kept not in move. A garage. Not really the best place to keep them. Okay. Collection of guitars belonging to Ryan was seen in the garage at the Brandon house. That doesn't help if at the moment. If his hands are but... fucked, why does his wife say he's got dyspraxia? Or if he can play guitar, why does his wife say his hands are fucked? Let's go ask her that. Shall we? Before I talk to her, let's peek in at the restaurant real quick. See if anything's changed here. Nope. Got it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's why I ate before the stream. <laughs> All right, hey Can backers. You know, it's hard to eat before the stream when you wake up twenty minutes before. Yep. That's my fault. Does Ryan play the guitar? <laughs> he tries. He does keep wasting money on them, though. I think he believes if he buys the right one, he'll suddenly turn into Jimi Hendrix. Sad, really. I just let him play in his room as long as he plays in there. I don't mind. So. Let's see. That? No, because she says he can't play. Hmm. Uh, I wish he wasn't cut off so we could ask him about this shit. Let's go bother Paul. Uh, that's bother it for Paul? the time being. Yes, Thank we you. can totally bother Paul. You are super into this, aren't you? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, it, it didn't fully hook me until the cult situation happened, and then I'm like, all right, let's, uh... Let's see where this rabbit hole goes. i uh, ask you a couple more things, please. All right. So, down the list? Yep. So, that's from here. Seen this before? The writing looks familiar, but no. Okay. Thinks the writing looks familiar, so we could probably ask Ryan about it. What can you tell me about shit? doll burning at Atlas? Not very much. It's one of Ryan's ideas. My son is under the illusion that he's a genius. <laughs> Nobody likes Ryan. Damn. No wonder he's an asshole. <laughs> well, and I think Paul just doesn't like anybody. Um, alright. Can you tell me more about the auto-hypnosis techniques used on the course? We don't use hypnosis on the course. Not at all? Not anymore. So, how was it used? Hypnosis is probably the wrong word, Inspector. It's nothing to do with the trances or things like that. It was, it was meant to force, <coughs> to help students. Force did force them. Force them. You can't force anybody into being hypnotized. You have to want to be hypnotized. It's not something out of your control. You can't be hurt or damaged in any way by hypnosis. So you'd never put pressure on students to enter into hypnosis? It would be impossible to do so. Hmm. Okay. Too forced, though. Yeah. He said something. He just Does, can't do anything um, about it. play the guitar? Ryan? Ryan couldn't get a tune out of a radio. He's turned deaf. Okay, so he's never tried to go professional. If he did try, it was never going to happen. Okay. That still doesn't give us any contradictions here. Oh, maybe Emma has something on it because she did cheat on. Thank you. With Probably Ryan. be back later. Oh, yeah, she was banging Ryan. I forgot about that. Let's uh, let's figure that out. 
You are so into the, whoops, you are so into this. I'm so happy. But I think you're seeing why I wanted Mom to be a part of this whole situation, right? Yeah. Like, this is absolutely this is, her thing. This is so up her alley, it's ridiculous. But few questions, she didn't want to play, so fair enough. What do you know about Ryan's guitar collection? I know he plays, because he tried to buy one off me. Do you play? I used to. I used to be in a band, but I was a singer as well, so I got away with it. Singer as well? <laughs> yeah, I used to sing in a band every night. But, Liam's uh, band? Sometimes it was in a pub, but usually at Rebecca's. What was that called? It was called Blackstone. And uh, this guy from a record company once came to see us, and he said the band was rubbish, but that I was good. So after that, I don't think they liked me much, and then we broke up after college. Can't hide talent. Ah. Did she say anything about Liam? No. Um. Because, like, she was part of Liam's band, so let's check Liam's death. See if she said anything on that. Didn't know, didn't know Liam, Liam very, very well, well, but she was in Blackstone. I'm glad you remembered what the band name was, because I couldn't ah. remember. Ah. You're that a shitty liar, Emma. you sang in Blackstone. Who else was in the band? Um, just a few people from college. Including Liam? Yeah. Why did you say you didn't know him? No, it's it's not that. I just thought you meant that I didn't know about his suicide. No. Did you? No, I was <clears throat> away on a holiday. When he died? Yeah, I only knew him through the band. She definitely knows more than she's saying. She was in a band with Liam, but didn't know about his problem? I'm not sure I believe you, Emma. I like Rebecca Jinx. might have more on that then. Um, on what? Oh wait, I don't know if we don't have a separate thing to show her. So Correct. Really... So let's see, Liam's death. So yeah, didn't know Liam very well. It's now red because it was a lie. Only knew Liam through the band Blackstone. Was on holiday the night Liam died. But she was on holiday the night Kate died too. Yeah, that's not really a contradiction though, is it? Yeah, or we can no, try. Because, like. I mean, she's lied about both of them now, so. Yeah. She's being very. Ah, uh, that's all for evasive. the moment. Thank you. Yeah, let's talk to Simon about it. Too. But I don't have any. Be back later Whoops. on. If that's Sorry. Okay. Sorry to keep tra <laughs> trouncing back and okay, forth through your for house. Now. Thank you. I like what you did with the furniture in the room. All right. What do you know about Ryan's guitar collection? Uh, not a whole lot. I know he brought a guitar to one of the groups once, at the end of one of the stages. That's the only time I've seen him with a guitar. Okay. I think that's a dead end. Thank um, you. Probably be back later. Well, the point of the guitars, I think, was to get Emma to open up about being in the band. Right. Um... Paul and Ryan both need to be asked about that DVD. There are four things I haven't asked about Ryan, to Ryan yet. But he's in the... Yeah, well, we can go past her. I'm in a second. Maybe their thing is going to be over with after uh, I get done here. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Let's see, so... It said I haven't asked him about the DVD, but I have. The writing looks familiar. Oh, shit. Jeez. Senior cops, relax. All right. Somebody probably skipped over the stop sign out there. Yeah. I'm trying to see if those M's are... No, I don't know. We don't really have a whole lot of writing samples right now. Yeah, Thank you. Really. Probably be back right. later. And even then, that's... Uh... James is writing on the Salvia Divinarum labeling it as Magic Mint. Right. Alright, let's go see if Ryan has done- what the hell? Okay. Whoa! Oh Whoa! shit! What the fuck? Stole his bag. The DVD! That's all they took. It must have been deliberate. Someone clearly wanted that back. Nice and helpful of them to leave a piece of evidence behind, though. Monarch, Monarch costumes. costumes. 
So we've lost the DVD, but now we have. Yeah. What a twat. Uh, no use for the bags. So let's talk to everybody about that. Let me go deal with Ryan first, see if his bullshit's over with. Wait a minute, let's see if there's anything going on in the clearings now. No. Nope, no drugs. Like, probably not, but since we're here, I may as well, you know, be diligent. Nothing there. Uh, whoops. Guess we'll hang a left. Yeah. Nothing. Alright, never mind. Alright, let's go see if Ryan's done with his bullshit here in Atlas. Yep. This is why American cops carry guns, Jenks. I almost said something very rude. Never mind. Okay, no, never rude. mind there. Um, are you Down in the, the kitchen? Corridor? Maybe something changed about the kitchen. Nope. TV? Nope. I mean, still the same pile of discs. Okay. Uh, guess you're right. We can start with Becker's and... She'd know something if Ryan shops there. Hopefully. Uh, we almost saw your bald head, Jack. more questions, if that's okay. Hey, guess what happened? Have you seen this before, anywhere? Well, I know the shop. A costume shop just outside the village. Ever used it? Not personally, but I think Ryan might have. What was that? What was the end of that? I glanced at the um, chat. She hasn't used the uh, costume shop personally, but she thinks Ryan might have. That's all for the moment. Thank uh, you. Corroborates Paul's story about it. Still doesn't help us if we can't yep. talk to his ass. Let's talk to uh, James. He might have something. Because, like, inexperience with the uh, Yellow Springs, Whoops. like, if you know a little something something about the occult, you know a little something something about costume shops. <laughs> what is with you right now? I, I think I'm just on because I've just started the day and I've got a couple hits of caffeine. And... But at the same time, you also sound drowsy. It's really funny. Good morning, Pro everybody. Probably the fans aren't hearing anything too weird, but since I live with you, I, I can hear and feel all the little differences. And uh, it's uh, it's pretty adventurous hearing you right now. All right, yeah, let's head back to the thing. Going to check everything. Going to eat me a lot of peaches. Guess I can't. Just, no, oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay. Hurry the hell up, Jenks. As I rub my face and move my glasses. And yawn directly into the mic. I'm sorry. I'm having the opposite problem of the Akamura right now. Thank you. Because I've been up for a while and I am a little sleepy because the day is dreary. Seen this anywhere before? Nope. <laughs> okay. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Deus Ex Machina. If that's okay. Much appreciated. Wait, I didn't ask him about the guitar collection. Hey, James, open your stupid door again. Absolutely. We're gonna cool open things, his please. door one of these days, and he's just gonna have this huge fucking embroidery freaking. He doesn't know about the tapestry. musical ability. Well, Jeez. never mind. Guess Probably I'm leaving. Bye, James. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Like, we're gonna open that door one day and he's just gonna have this huge frickin' tapestry out that he's, like, doing embroidery on and he's gonna be like, Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> um, did we talk to the guitar owner dude about the garage door opener? No, uh, that's Ryan. We haven't been able to speak to Ryan because yes, he's in his Ryan's class. In just a few more questions, if you so don't mind. So, we're just sort of asking about everything else to everyone else right before? now? No, I don't think so. You don't recognize the shop? No. Is there someone else who works at Atlas? Someone who may have been there tonight? No. Mm -hmm. You don't recognize the shop, but you but know the shop. strange shop's times, name. but then... He's a strange boy. Work who is that? As a cleaner. Well, we did try him in accounts, but it didn't work out. 
Okay. Doesn't know where the bag is from, but you're the one who said monarch costumes on the mask. Uh, mask. Mask. Cardboard mask. 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 Whoops. What do you know about ah. this? Looks like a monarch. Do you visit monarch costumes a lot? No. I used to go in there occasionally. I used to go in there occasionally. But you do know the shop. Yes, of course I do. You see, Paul, I thought you said you didn't know where this bag was from. Well, maybe I do. This was used to put over my head, Paul, by a mugger. Would you like to tell me something? Are you suggesting that I had something to do with your mugging? Did you? You really ask the most ridiculous questions. Of course I didn't. So why did you lie about the shop? Well, I didn't have anything to do with your mugging inspector, but I might know somebody who did. Go on. Did Ryan mention Jason to you, the cleaner? Unfortunately, Ryan at some point told Jason that the DVD mustn't be removed from the site. So the DVD that you don't recognize when he it. saw you take it, he simply thought that he was doing us a favor by getting it back. Uh -huh. He isn't exactly what you'd call one of Darwin's best examples. The DVDs so that you didn't DVD know anything about. That's so special. All right, it was something I did myself, a little stunt I pulled to amuse the students. What did kind you? of stunt? I pretended to steal from the students. I emphasized the word pretended. The students knew all about it afterwards. Everything was above board. Steal from students? Why? We were doing a piece about pushing the limit, so I decided I, I, would show them how it was done. Well, don't look so serious, Inspector. I returned everybody's things immediately afterwards, no harm done. And when was this? Last year, sometime. At Third Eye or Atlas? Third Eye, I think. And this was before or after Liam died? Well, since you'll probably find out anyway, it happened to be on the night that Liam died, as it happens. Before you ask, no, I didn't steal from him. Do you think it's a good idea to encourage students to steal, Paul? I wasn't encouraging students to steal. Policemen are so literal. Life is shades of grey, Inspector. Much as the force might like it, it doesn't divide neatly into blacks and whites. Now, if you don't mind, you're going to have to excuse me for a moment. You know where the door is. I'm going to hit you with the door. Alright then. Uh. Hmm. Simon, Emma, Rebecca, and Ryan. Well, guess I'll hit up those three then. And then hit up Ryan last. I see he was quick enough to claim he didn't steal from Liam. What kind of stunt was that anyway? And Liam dying later the same night? It's just all a bit too suspicious. Indeed. I have not asked about Paul's theft stunt, apparently. Did you know about Paul's money stealing at Atlas? Are you talking about a particular incident or just in general? It's something he did on the course. Stunt. And what did he do exactly? Oh, well, he pretended to steal from the students. That doesn't ring a bell. Paul's stunts usually involve throwing fancy dress parties with scantily clad girls or women dressed as nurses. That's his usual fetish. Ew. When was the last party he threw? Um, sometime in the summer. I didn't stay long. Do we know what time of year this is? Has it said? I can't remember. I don't think so. Doesn't know about um, Paul Stone. Paul often throws fancy dress checks, parties. Check the info on Kate's death real quick. I think it had her date. Uh, Early last Saturday Sunday. morning. I don't know. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank I don't you. know what time of year it is. Showed students so it was okay to steal, but insist you weren't doing that exactly. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's... Uh, I guess we need to hit up Simon, Emma, and Ryan. Yep. Okay. Need to ask them about the bag, too. Yes. Need to ask Ryan about a whole shitload of things. Maybe Liam was killed because he was suspected of stealing by another student or killed himself before because someone thought he stole... I mean, maybe? 
But the fact Ask that he died things, of please. apparent suicide the same time of year that Kate died this year. Yeah, I, I figure there's more going on than a coincidence. Seen this. Especially since no it's, shop. you know, a mystery. Yeah, yeah, I know the shop. I hired something from them last year, I think. This is for a party, year. I assume. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Dodgy, aren't you? Okay. Uh... What do you know about Paul stealing money from students? Part of a stunt or something? What, did he do that? I, I've never heard about anything like that. No, it might be part of the risk-taking thing, though. Explain that. Well, it's, it's part of the course. You have to do something dangerous or risky, uh, something you wouldn't normally do. Something dangerous? Well, not dangerous, just, just risky. Like, um, say something you wouldn't normally say to someone, or uh, doing something unusual. Like stealing from other students. Well, we didn't do anything like that, but you have to tell everyone at the end of the course anyway. And you're not allowed to do anything that would hurt or offend anyone. Or you're not allowed to do anything really bad. It's all pretend, really. <sighs> it seems a bit odd for a business course. It works, though. Does it? Paul and Ryan have a whole shitload of frickin' misdemeanor shitheads running around. Oh, but we're not responsible. Not allowed to hurt or offend others. I feel like that is a thread I should look for. Not allowed to hurt or threaten others. It's weird that they're like, you're not allowed to hurt or threaten others, but don't feel guilty. Don't worry about morals. Don't worry about mm -hmm. laws. It's just hypocritical and weird yep. and bullshit. Um, tried. I'm like, you know, don't hurt anyone, but don't also drink or do drugs. I don't see anything that's a contradiction directly. But that's something we've got to keep in mind. Yep, let's have camera it, really quick. It feels like that's going to be something Thank you. Probably that I can catch nice. someone out for. Hi, Chibi. It is not bad that you are inter so interested in this you can't type. That's good. I like doing games people are interested in. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Can you, uh, know the shop? Have you used it? No, but I know where it is. Can you tell me? Oh. All right. Never hired from the shop. And Paul That's stuff a stuff. British phrase if I... What? Oh, yeah, I know. <clears throat> Just like... What do you know about Paul Rand? Rand? Paul the Slime. You've obviously met him, then. <sighs> yes, I have. What do you know about him committing a fake theft during one of the courses? What, about him going through people's bags? Yeah, he tried that thing on me as well, weirdo. So you were at Third Eye? Yes. Yes, I, I went there for a few months after college and I left because I hated it. And I didn't know Atlas was the same thing. And I went with Simon. Does Simon know that? <laughs> no. I didn't want to burst his bubble, so I didn't say anything. So he doesn't know you went to Third Eye? No. Ah! So is that where you met Ryan as well? Yep. Right. What, uh, what didn't you like about the course? Well, it was just... It was stupid. They just made you do things to other people and be abusive just to prove that you could, and I absolutely hated it. What sort of things? Oh, just stupid things. Nasty things to prove that you could do it. It was about not feeling guilty. And it was horrible, that's why I left. And is Simon doing all of this stuff now? No. No, I, I think they had to stop because it was just getting ridiculous. I think somebody got arrested or something. Very interesting. Or someone drowned. <sighs> okay. Let's see if Ryan's available. Yeah. Still feel like there's a thread that I have uh, not that's all seen. For the moment. Thank you. Me too. But let's uh Lord Ariado says hiring out is like renting a costume. I figured it would be like, uh, I figured it would be like a uh, Britishism for like hiring out commission work. Uh Either way, I had not made that connection. Tofa wants Halloween now. 
Hey. Every we day don't is have very Halloween long. if you're freaking. The, I went, um, I walked the Akamura to work a few days ago, and her new work location is located next to a Goodwill, and I went by the Goodwill, and they are selling Halloween stuff, and I had that thought. I'm like, holy shit, Halloween's in just, like, a month. They're ha- and selling Halloween stuff at the Goodwill? Yes. They I'm have wigs. the rest of my paycheck. No, <laughs> not really, but, uh. And and the reason I thought of that is because when I worked at Walmart, we always prepared for holidays like two to three months in advance. In the case of Christmas, we were preparing five months in advance. And it was just like, I, I suddenly had that feeling of, I don't know, freedom, I guess, that I don't have to worry about that shit anymore. And I don't have to worry about, uh, I don't have to worry about holidays until the holiday happens. Um, JRPGT, we can't take someone else's testimony as a contradiction from somebody else unless they give us a physical piece of evidence. Right. We can only catch someone in their own lie. Got something useful to tell me, Jenks? Chief, I found out that Emma was in a band with Liam, the student who died last year. Uh, what does she know about Liam? Not much. She wasn't there when he died. Well, make sure she wasn't. Find out who was there that night. Work out what night it was. Uh, make sure Paul Rand wasn't involved. Make uh, sure he wasn't involved. Phone's ringing. Call me back, Jenks. Right out, Chief. So that means one of those two, if not both, have some sort of contradiction going on. Yep. Emma and or Paul have some sort of contradiction going on. Yep. So... Chief's just finding out who was there the night Liam died and find out whether Paul was involved. So that means one of them, in fact, why can I not just, no, dipshit. One of them has, oh, I wonder if it's, did his license plate say random? Hold on a second. Oh yeah, I thought you saw that. Random. Random? It's a random license plate. And also, as someone else pointed out, it's an Audi. Yep. Usually it looks they... like it's fall because all the leaves are off the trees. Late fall yeah. coming up on winter. Usually they uh, blur out like corporate logos and such like that. But eh, what else? Okay. I wonder if they had to commission the Audi for the... Uh... Oh, I can't go into the house. The link is just straight gone. Like, I wonder if they found the owner of that Audi and asked to use it, the thing. I mean, they would still need Audi's permission itself to put their logo in there. Or, ideally, they should. Uh, maybe they just shot him a email or something. Yeah, that's possible. I mean, for Audi, it's free advertising. Yeah. I mean, really, all you gotta do is ask. Yes. Okay, um, so I can't talk to Paul because the option isn't even there. Um, so if Ryan is also unavailable, there are five things you haven't asked Ryan about yet. Well, how the hell am I supposed to talk to him? Maybe Atlas is over and that's why you got mugged by that shit face? I've been in here, like, twice. Unless it triggered now that I've spoken to the chief. Every time I knock on the door, I don't get an answer. Yep. What? There's the cops here? again. I was like, was that here or was that in the game? I got a little... That's here. Uh. Here they come cruising down the street. Yep. So yeah, we got... There's no one in the kitchen. We can't access the reading room. That must be a location call. Um. What? That must be an all-hands location call. That's when he started and then just went. What? What are you talking the, about? The cops? Oh. I don't understand what you're saying. What is an they, on hands location they call? They probably got a call closest units to this location. Lord Ariado's heard the sirens. That's how loud they are. Okay. Five things I haven't asked about Ryan yet. So where is he? If we can't find him there, if he's not an Atlas, where is he? The village hall, maybe? It's like the one location I haven't checked yet. Uh, nothing. Not even a magnifying glass to grab an item. Great. 
I'm gonna have to burn another hand. Another Wait, there cheat. was a rear path. Where does that go? What? A rear path? Uh, go back to the village center. There was somewhere else we came from. Where? I just saw something that said go down the rear path. That was at the village center and then coming back the other direction. Oh. Derp. So... See, if we How go... How can we ask Ryan something if he's not available? Right, his wife's pub. I mean, maybe. Maybe he has gone there. Yeah, the, go right along the rear path. That just takes us back to the village hall. Um, yeah, we can try. Maybe he's at the restaurant now or something. I'm trying to remember if he said anything about where he goes after his class, but... Sometimes he said he goes back to the pub, but he hasn't recently or something. <sighs> Not there either. Um, I'm stuck-ish. I have a feeling if I burn the clue, it's just going to tell me to go talk to Ryan, but I don't know where the hell he is. And TC said something about the garage, but I don't think we can get in there. Like, we could try to use the remote control lock again. No, nope, that's nothing. And no magnifying glass, so that's nothing. So we're Keep stuck. knocking on doors until you get bored. That's probably what I'm going to need to do. Um, yep. No intel anywhere. All right, burning the cheat. Eh, click, 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 click. So Emma was on holiday the night Liam died, but didn't she say she witnessed Paul's money-stealing stunt? Didn't Liam die later that night, too? Thank I you. did not put that together. I like the hint system in the game. So I, I was right-ish, because remember I had said that it mentioned Emma. Couple more questions, Hi. if that's okay. And then I just ignored it because of the light bulbs not telling me to go there because I was not using my own brain. It's going to be on Liam's right. death. So, was on holiday, but uh, new Was that third eye when, when Paul pulled the stone? Yeah. Aha. Emma's just a lying so liar McLiar face. Paul's money stealing stunt, is that right? Yes. But you weren't there when Liam died. No. Don't quite understand that, you see, because Paul pulled the stunt on the same night. Liam died later that evening. Um, I, uh, I must have mixed up. So you don't know anything about Liam's death, even though you were there on that night? Mm, no. Emma. I think you better explain, don't you? Well, it was the stupid course, wasn't it? Go on. <sighs> well, we were all told to do stupid things and... And then that thieving thing happened, and so... Take a breath, Emma. <sighs> Liam killed himself because of me. Why? Um... Liam had a... a birthmark on the side of his face. And no one would mention anything, even though we all knew it was there. And we all thought, they all thought it was ugly. So I thought I'd say something and I... I even asked Paul if it was okay to say it. What did he say? He said he wouldn't mind. Then Liam killed himself. Liam said because of me. Well, Emma, I'm quite sure you regret what you said. But I really don't think you caused Liam's death. There's always more to these things than meets the eye. It wasn't your fault. We can't tell Simon, please. Simon doesn't need to know. Don't worry. Thank you. <sighs> Poor kid thinks she probably had something to do with Nine o'clock. Poor Kate's Emma. death, too. I suppose it's possible that what she said led to Liam's death, but I really doubt it. I blame the Rands before I blame her. Exactly. Alright. We'll head back to Atlas and see if we get anything. Oh yeah, Ryan's available now because it's over. Yes, it is now 9 o'clock. 
So we'll see if he's available in the Atlas build. As what Ryu said, one mean comment does it not a suicide make? Nope, one mean comment. You Whoa, have. we've got things. But yeah, if someone kills themselves over bullying, that's more than one comment. That is a whole I hell of a lot. No, I never remember to buy one. Well, I know where to take that, but before we go doing more B and E. Let's see if Ryan is available around here. Well, hi, buddy. A few more questions, please. You piece of shit. All right, let's start with the red torch. Oh, Brits. Um, um, start at the top? Yep, yeah, starting at the else? top. Starting at the top. So tell me more about this doll burning. It's a symbolic ceremony we perform every few weeks on the court. What's it about? It's about burning your old personality and finding a new one, a better one. So the dolls are... You. They represent you from the past. Each doll has a picture of a student, of a child, or a teenager. Uh, and they burn the doll and symbolically destroy their old personality. It's quite simple but effective, I find. And why did that girl shout? Because it's an emotional thing. She... <laughs> She quite clearly become very attached to her doll. They do spend the first month with them. We tell them to take the doll everywhere with them before they actually go through the doll burning. And you believe that's a good thing? Destroying your past? Of course it's a good thing, Inspector. We're all shackled to our past, particularly you by the sound of it, perhaps. Perhaps we should make a doll of you, Inspector, and burn that, what do you think? No, thank you. You're probably right. I'm not sure it would do any good anyway. All of a sudden, you're a dick again. Okay, two things. First of all, KJ Friend points out, did this man just steal a flashlight? And I'm like, no, we collected evidence for the sake of investigating a murder that we're just not going to return later. Thumbs up. And second, did you notice that Paul was drinking there? It's... Like, for consistency, he's always got that glass in his hand because then if you ask about something else, you don't want the inconsistency of him suddenly not having the glass. He's been getting drunk as shit this entire night. But in universe, it seems he's just banging back glass after glass after glass of whatever the hell he's drinking. Anyway, um, I know exactly what to do with that flashlight, but first we are going to... Uh, wow, we are have so many things to ask Can about. Can you tell me about auto-hypnosis? No. What would you like to know? Do you use it on the course? We dip into it occasionally, but uh, it's not a major feature of the course. I would say that, well, a minority of the students know how to use it, but the majority wouldn't know and have a clue. It's not a requirement of the course. No, not at all. We don't, we don't ask people to do things that they're not comfortable with. There's no bribery, no coercion. Uh, we're thinking about phasing auto-hypnosis out, actually. What's the reason for that? Uh, well, to be perfectly honest with you, Inspector, it doesn't actually work very well. Okay. So that that contradicts a few things some of the other people have said. Yes. Um, the students aren't coerced or bribed in any way sounds... Di sounds like it's... Um, but they're clearly egged on, as in Emma's case. That's what I was getting at. It, it sounds... It doesn't... I can't connect it to anything else he has said yet, but it contradicts what we're hearing from other people. I had to pay Liam's parents a settlement fee. I didn't remember he actually said that. All right. Um, all right. Down the I list. didn't realize you were a musician. Oh, well, I'm not really a musician. I mean, I, I, I dabble a little bit. To be quite honest with you, I'm far more interested in collecting guitars. You're not in a band. Uh, well, I, I did audition. I did audition a few years ago. When I say a few years ago, of course, I mean about 20 years ago. <laughs> Doesn't time fly? <laughs> what band was that? Oh, I can't remember. Something Stone. Really? They all called Something Stone. Hammerstone. That's it. And you still collect? Um, I haven't bought a guitar for over a year. I feel I've moved on. Oh. I haven't bought a guitar okay. for over a year. Hammerstone. 
I got all excited because I wonder if he got involved in Blackstone for a second. But he said it was over 20 Do you know what it, this well, is? Well, I think it's a bag. <laughs> is it a bag, Inspector? The shop. Oh, yes, the costume shop. Yes, we used to hire from them. For the course? Well, yes. For the course, at the end of each stage, we have a, a, a little party and we ask students to dress up or try acting out uh, being somebody new. Their new selves, as it were. Could you explain a bit more? New selves? Hmm. One of the main elements of the course is learning how to act. How to be whoever you need to be in any given situation. I think you'll agree, Inspector, that business is about being the right person in the right situation at the right time. What he does, it, it helps them to detach themselves, become somebody new, pretend, you know, you know, that kind of thing. It's surprising what a little bit of cross-dressing could do for you, Inspector. You should try it. Mm. Not at this stage. What? <laughs> that was a... Uh... That was a bit of a leap, sir, but okay. What do you know about your father's money-stealing stunt? Oh, uh, <laughs> well, yes, that was something that Dan decided to do uh, as part of the shock aspect of the course. But he went too far, you believe. <laughs> he usually does. And do you think it did have anything to do with Liam's death? No, 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 no. Liam wasn't like that at all. I mean, that was just a simple unfortunate coincidence. I mean, Liam had his own problems, but he didn't have any problems with the money shock stunt. No. Hmm. Emma's guilt, though. I know. I'm, I'm getting there. Just thinking. What do you know about Emma Bowman criticizing Liam before his suicide? I was there. I witnessed it. Uh, well, I, I know Emma blamed herself for his death. Did she? Well, she was upset and all of that, but, um, I, I wouldn't blame her, Inspector. I, I really don't think she had anything to do with it at all. You don't think? Liam was a very confident person, very outgoing, very strong individual, or so it seemed. I mean, people are free to do what they like. Even something as irreversible as bumping themselves off. Sad though that is, of course. That's about as much as I've ever agreed with you. Or I should say that's about the only thing I've agreed with you with. Sounds like he... Go back up to Liam. That sounds like he... Liam was strong and outgoing. And Liam seemed happy. Had met Liam at the pub. I don't see any uh, contradiction in anything he said. Wait, he said he was there. I thought he didn't attend any third eye meetings. Good call, TC. Let's see if that works. No, James never came to a third eye meeting. Yeah, nothing there about it. Background in psychology. Oof, there's so much going on now, I'm having trouble keeping track of everything. Witnessed Emma's criticism of Liam. Which means that he was definitely there. If he wit if he witnessed Emma's criticism of Liam, then Paul was there the night that Liam died. Since that all happened on the same situation. Um, TC, I think you're thinking of when we brought up the third eye flyer. He said he didn't have anything to do with it, but we've already covered that. Did we? All four of these are yeah, okay, all four of these are lies. That's why they're red. Yes. So had to pay Liam's third eye was investigated about Liam's death. Atlas was called third eye. Yeah. All right. Be back later I can't on. Can't okay. connect a thread there. Um, before I speak to anyone else, I'm gonna go do the flashlight thing. I'm sorry, the torch, because we're in Britain. The torch. <laughs> right. All right. So that's in the outbuilding. In the outbuilding, we have to use the flashlight because we couldn't see behind the shelves. Lots of metal. And lids. A note. Carl? Car? Car. A car. Devil, Devil worshipper. Well, well. 
And the symbol. Mask symbol again. Looks like someone's been trying to make a point. All right. Photos of a car vandalized with the spray paint were found in the pub outbuilding. Hey, Beckers, guess what I just found in your building that you barely gave me permission to search. Oops. If I ever make a game, the Akuma, I'm going to name a character Beckers just for you. you what? Tell her that and she's like, ah, oh, yeah. Typical pigs. i ask you a couple more things, please. She'd say it all sultry, though. Because yeah, she's well, Beckers. That's just typical of pigs, isn't it? Exactly. Have you ever seen these? Mm, it's Ryan's car. It got vandalized last year. His camera had been stolen, so I took pictures. Oh, whoever did it made a mess, didn't they? But nobody was prosecuted for it. Not that I remember. The insurance paid out, though. Okay. Thanks. Okay, I that's guess. it for now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. He sounds so happy whenever we leave a person. Okay, that's it. Great, thanks, Thank bye. Thank you, bye. Alright, someone suggested James. Lord Ariados. I'm gonna... Oh yeah, James would probably know a thing or two about those pictures. Hell, he might be the one who vandalized them. I mean, that doesn't seem like his style, but... Yeah. If he either... Maybe he did it or... You know the trick they're doing to make this look like night is they're just putting a blue light filter on everything? Yep, you can still see a few more questions, if you don't mind. Yep. Cloud cover know anything about these? Nope. Mm. Nope, thank you. Um, anything about Paul's theft stunt or Emma's guilt? Nope. What about Emma's guilt? We haven't asked him about that. Nope. Oh no, he wouldn't know. Thank you! Probably be okay. back Okay. Thanks, James. You have a good, uh, smoke sesh. Uh. What's <laughs> up? Oh, oh, let's let's go back to Ryan real quick. I want to ask him about those photos. Because if it's his car, he's going to give yeah. me some information about this, and maybe I can catch him out on something. We come to see you, James, just for your one-word answers. Oh, uh, have you seen this? You nope. Don't mind. Have you seen this? Nope. Have you seen this? Mountain of Exposition! Exactly. Yeah, but have you seen this related thing? Nope. Do you know what uh, these are? Oh yes, that's my old car. Uh, it was vandalized. Um, I took those for the insurance company. Rebecca Where did you find those? At the pub. Uh, you know who did this? <laughs> yes. A girl called Lisa Blint. She really? was on the course, very strange girl. And why did she write the words devil worshippers all over your car? Well. She was a very strange girl. She had a lot of psychological problems. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure, Inspector. I, I mean, she she took a dislike to the cause for some particular reason. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. And um, she asked for a refund. I declined. And she decided to spray her disapproval all over my car. Odd thing to spray, isn't it, though? Devil worshippers? Well, she was a very odd girl, Inspector. Uh, maybe she thought it was a way of getting back at us. I know I, uh, did Rebecca know about it? Well, yes, she did, but I, was, I wasn't about to unleash Rebecca on her. She can be quite fierce sometimes, you know. And I mean, the girl wasn't vindictive. She had psychological problems. She said that like village, six actually. times. Uh, the run-down house at the end of the lane. Can't miss it. Ooh. Really? Right. Thank you. We have a new person to talk to, it sounds like. Ooh. Hello, strange new person. Thank you. Here's Probably be back later. Yeah. Let me just lay out our entire case in front of you right now while I quiz you about a absolutely um, everything. Do you want to hit up uh, Simon and Emma and Paul? No, no. I, I want to talk to new girl. Okay. I want to talk to new girl first after I... Well, this is quite clean. Scarily, scarily white and clean. Yep. <sighs> All right. Let's... Uh, I wondered what this location was Could for because... Be lives? Rundown house at the end of the lane. That's what Ryan said, wasn't it? And all the ladies have been cute so far, so let's see if we can find another cute lady to talk to. Will she be the female version of James? Well, we'll see. If anyone's going to know about scrying mirrors, it's going to be her. Is it Lisa? 
Yes. Uh, Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. I wonder if I could ask you a few questions. What sort of incident? I'd rather come in and discuss it if that's all right with you. I promise I won't take long. Thank you. And don't worry, you're not I'll on a go in here, yes. show being watched by dozens minute. of people. Oh, oh look, I, I can come back later. I might not be here. What did you want to ask? I just wanted to ask you, did you know Kate Vine? No. Right. Well, I heard that you're familiar with Atlas, the uh, life skills training company. What do you want to know about Atlas? Well, I heard you reacted badly to it. Of course, I reacted badly. So would anyone. Now, why, why do you say that? Because they're devil worshippers. Devil worshippers? They're making demons appear. They're tricking everybody. They're getting people to join up. But then they're putting demons inside them. You can see them. See who? Demons. Where could you see them? In the mirrors. At Atlas. Any mirror. You can't get rid of them. They stay inside you. So, how did you get rid of them? I didn't. You still see them. I just don't look. I put all the lights on. I make sure it's all bright. I put them on when I need to look in the mirror. If I make sure everything is bright, I just see myself without. Let's not show her that. Seeing the other person. Who is the other person? She's like me, but older. It's like her eyes sink in. She's all wrinkled, with a wrinkled mouth. Like she's dying. And then I realize I'm her. I'm not me anymore. I'm sorry, I, I have to go now. I'm so sorry. Sliding open again. I'm sorry. We're gonna have to use that scrying mirror, aren't we? Whoa. That actress is by far the best one so far. Holy yes. shit. Like Ryu said, that's at least right. the second time a door is open at random. Um, so... We've got Lisa's ac accusation. I guess that's all we got out of that? Because that's new. Yes. Um... We can probably start asking random people about yeah, let's that accusation. Start with James, because James would know the most. I mean, he already Couple suspects him of doing okay. tons of bad things. That's why he so. gives out those scrying mirrors. Yeah. Probably. Do you know anyone who is interested in or involved with devil worship? Have you met Lisa? Which Lisa are you talking about? Mad Lisa. Lives on her own, doesn't like mirrors. Yeah, yeah, I've met her. You think she's mad? You can't look at yourself in the mirror without seeing ghosts. You've got problems, don't you think? How do you know her? She came to the farm for some eggs a couple of times. I was talking to her once, that's all. And what did she tell you? Nothing much. Except she thought the devil was after her. What did you tell her? I told her the devil needs a good reason to be after you. She was just like most people, really. Blind to herself. Except she was more extreme. That's all madness is. Being blind to yourself. Okay. Still nothing I can That's really go on, moment. but at least we know a little bit more about Lisa. Okay. 
if this wasn't um if this wasn't a game, I would concur that maybe showing her the scrying mirror and other stuff like that would not be the best solution, but being oh, yeah. this, like being a mystery and all that, she I have a feeling we're going to have to though. Well, if she's not going to be back, then we won't have to, but we may Ooh, have to uh, make our luck at it. All right. All right, now we can ask him about multiple things. Do you think Emma's criticism of Liam on that last night led to his suicide? I doubt it, Hal. Did you encourage Emma to criticize him? I didn't encourage Emma to do anything. I merely told her what we tell every student to do, to express themselves as they want to. It would be out of order to criticize them after that, wouldn't it? However, I didn't expect her to criticize his birthmark, if that's what it was. That's a decision she took herself. So you didn't know her well? No, not at all. So that, hardly knew Emma. I wonder if I can get that to connect to the Freedom Necklace thing. Because we know that it's her freedom necklace. Yes. Where is it? And since he didn't buy it for Kate, he bought it for Emma. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, see? Pyro can figure things out sometimes. You say you didn't know Emma. Uh, yet you bought her a freedom necklace. I don't remember saying anything about buying Emma a necklace. So you didn't buy her one? So you did buy her one. <laughs> so that means you must have known her, and quite well, too. Stop making such a big thing about this, Inspector. Look, I've been around a few years. The clock is ticking. Your son and I admit that. I have a, an embarrassing weakness for attractive women. Yeah. It was a stupid mistake, but that's all it was. So you're saying you tried it on with her? No, I didn't try it on. I bought her a necklace. I'm not aware that there's a law against buying presents, unless, of course, the Third Reich. Oh, Christ, elected. shut up, dude. While I was at that Bridge Park. Second reference to Emma was old enough to make dude. decisions for herself. And as a matter of fact, she decided that she didn't want to be bothered with an old fool like me. So nothing happened, no mistakes, nobody got hurt. Right. I wonder if we like spill the beans like about son. No surprises there I wonder how many students Paul has tried it on with I wonder if we said that uh, his son got that Then he will go all nutter bars Alright Do you know what these are? Yes, that's Ryan's car Another toy he managed to ruin it was vandalized sometime last year. Ryu wants you know to know if we can use that scrying mirror I don't believe here. anybody I was ever prosecuted for it. And he says, you know, lying to an investigator is a big deal. Yes. Do you know anything about devil worship, Paul? I beg your pardon? Devil worship? Uh, Satanism? Am I missing something here? I heard Atlas had elements of Satanism on the course. You were misinformed. We're a training company, we're not devil worshippers. What kind of a question is that? So you've no interest in the occult? No, Inspector, I have no interest in the occult any then more than I have interest occult? in pool vaulting, cheese making, or snake charming. Anything I'm else you want to know that I'm like not interested in? He slowly shuffles fine, those brochures under his chair. <laughs> All right, no interest in the occult. I feel like I can catch him out on that one. Yes, look at the third eye flyer. Yeah, third eye flyer was Paul's idea. So there we go. Bam and bam and bam. No. Oh, well, maybe the uh, mask. Third eye is very similar to Atlas. Liam's death was unavoidable. Oh, the mask. Uh, third eye was very similar to Atlas, which uses a shitload of occult symbols. Maybe that's why. Nope, not on that one. 
What else did you say? Oh, the mask. What about the flyer? This mask is from the flyer. That's what I was just at. Uh, Do you mean the advertising poster? No, it was just a no, it doesn't help. Okay. Thanks, dipshit. We're gonna go back up the road now. Let's talk to Ryan for a bit, maybe. Ryan? Oh, unless you wanted to talk to Rebecca. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was just going up the list, but oh. we can go yeah, to let's Ryan. Go, let's go up the list, because there is a few things we haven't asked the Simon and Anna to. Correct. My computer is suddenly freaking the fuck out. Are we still Ask on and good and everything? Um, let me check. Uh, uh, apparently we have. Paul Ryan is played by Paul Darrow. He played Zarek in medieval PlayStation games and was in a sci-fi show called Blake 7. I don't know about any of that stuff. Uh, okay. That is interesting, though. This is why I know my mom would have really dug this have game. Have you ever come across anyone interested in or involved with the occult? As in black magic? Right, he's asking, no, what did Paul Atlas say don't use occult running. techniques or anything like that? Atlas. Not unless Ryan's got a secret he's not telling me about. Why, he's been talking. Just a line of inquiry. Okay, thanks. Hmm. That's the first time sh uh, Beckers has seemed off, uh, off balance a little bit. Never come across anyone involved in with the It's probably upsetting her because that was a very expensive car that was ruined. But... Let's see. Black scrying mirror, you've never seen it before. Poster was designed by an agency. Where's the doesn't recognize the finger symbol? Doesn't know anything about the mask. Okay. Well, all that's consistent. Be back later on if that's okay. Oh, I could have asked her about Emma's guild. Did I not already? I don't think so. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. No. Um, I I tend to click these fast. I'm just looking for the red text because when it, when the text you. is red, Probably I know I need to later. do the thing. So I'm kind of zipping by here. Okay, nothing in there. All right. Well, I guess we're going back up the street and we're gonna go past our Emma and Simon again. Jason casts spells in the woods. It said it on the three eye flyer. Yeah, but it's saying James casts spells in the woods. Oh. Oh, right. That's. She says that he casts. Oh, I see what you're saying. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, right? You might be right. If nothing. I mean, this could be a dead end, but fuck it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Ask about a few more things, please. Okay, so third eye flyer. Uh, James casts spells in the woods. And then, no occult. Never come across anyone involved with the occult. That is a whiff. The text faded. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank Good you. Good try, though, Ryu. That's, yes. That that is definitely a connection. But uh, I mean, there might even be something more to it. What does light bulb say? Simon, Emma, and Ryan. Okay, yes, we are heading in that direction right now. BS, that's totally a contradiction. I agree. I agree. That, that, that yeah, is but kind of... Yeah, but even if you did, okay. she would have been like, yeah, but it's James. You've met him. Right. All right. Uh, starting here. Have you seen these before? Mm. No. Don't know the car. Sounds honest. All right. What about Lisa's accusation? What do you know about devil worship? Devil worship? Where? At Atlas. <laughs> devil worship at Atlas? No, there's none of that. Okay. I can't really prove that. Thank incorrect you. Probably be back later. At the moment. Because paganism and pagan symbols are not a cult, right? No, they were just collated. So they're kind of a cult, but like they're not devil worship. They were right. collated with devil worship during that whole 
Christianity versus paganism kerfuffle. Um, we did use the black scrying mirror in the last episode rather extensively. We showed it to Emma and she freaked out. Um, we showed it to, we got it from James. We showed it to Ryan and Simon who both really don't know much about it. Um, Emma didn't like it though. She yeah. really didn't like it. Do you know anything about these? Nope. Sorry. That sounded honest. Okay. Have you ever heard about there being devil worship? At I Atlantis? think I agree with devil you, Ryu. No. Definitely not. Who said that? It's just something I heard. Okay, thanks. All right. So, uh, uh, if you. you guys do want me to double check what everyone said about a thing, they actually have that in the game, which is cool. So if we go to the, uh, where is it? The scrying mirror. There it is. Um, okay. Wow. How British. The game apologizes for me <laughs> clicking something that isn't going to work. Anyway. So we can see everyone's replies to the scrying mirror. So Simon is, James is in the new age mysticism. James thinks the government is tracking him. James himself did not say that. Emma has said, thinks James is creepy. James was selling the mirrors last Friday. New Kate bought a mirror, demonstrated how to use it, but says the mirror doesn't work. Rebecca has never seen it before. Ryan used to have a mirror, used to read about black magic and satanic rituals. I guess reading about it doesn't necessarily mean yeah, cause anything. He's all up I've in read the about occult, and he's just... I wonder if that's his thing. He's splashed his past all over atlas right and then paul's response knows the mirror is used for scrying never used a scrying mirror no interest in it and atlas does not use it supposedly okay well that's that uh you haven't asked ryan about lisa blunt's accusation so i guess we are heading all the way up to atlas again how far along are we 52 percent we are making we are over halfway done. Whoa, We're making some good time. I don't have a rhyme. I thought you were just going to sing the song. I was hoping you were going to. But whenever you sing, you quiet Way down. Not a pair. There you go. You know how popular your singing please. is. If you sang for a whole episode, we'd have a th 100 million views easily. All right, Lisa's accusation. Has devil worship ever been part of the course, Ryan? <laughs> Am I correct in assuming that you have spoken to Lisa Blint? You would be. She's been telling me all about the Atlas obsession with Satanism, Ryan. Then if you've met Lisa Blint, then you will have worked out for yourself that she has a very vivid imagination. She also has psychological problems, diagnosed psychological problems, as a matter of fact. So where did she get the idea that you lot were, um, devil worshippers? I really have no idea. The girl is insane. She's frightened of her own shadow, bless her. She actually thinks that demons are possessing her even now. You really can't trust a word she says. So you are saying there has never been any devil worship at Atlas? I don't even know what devil worship is, Inspector. It's not something I particularly got you. know anything about. Got you. I certainly yep. don't recall got you. anyone ever having worshipped the devil at Atlas. We even tried to help the poor girl by paying for some treatment, but she didn't want it. Really? It's not easy to offer someone help when they think that you're the problem. All right. So, doesn't know anything about devil worship, but... So, whoever mentioned the black scrying mirror, was it... Yeah, it was JRPGT. I would have not gone to that thing, and I probably would not have remembered he had even said anything about it. So, good call on that one. Used to read about black magic and satanic rituals. Green text! Oh! Suck oh, it, bitch! So, you used to read a lot about voodoo and satanic rituals, but... You don't know anything about devil worship? Well, obviously. I just meant we don't worship the devil. We're not devil worshippers here at Atlas, Inspector. Ridiculous. But the point is, Ryan, that you claim not to know anything about it, but admitted you were obsessed with it when you were younger. Are you sure none of that made its way onto the Atlas course? And that Lisa 
isn't basing her beliefs on anything within that course? Lisa isn't basing her beliefs on anything other than her own imagination, Inspector. Look. Then why is the We do use some techniques car? that some students find difficult, disturbing. Like <laughs> what? We encourage them to see things differently. That's all. And some people simply aren't up to that. Some people, like Lisa, uh, that's why we introduced the aptitude test. What's the aptitude test? This. We ask students to fill in an aptitude test, uh, medical history, psychological issues, that kind of thing, any medication that they have used in the past, any medication that they currently are using. Here, take a look. Basically, it's just to try and make sure that we don't get another Lisa. Has it worked? Well, touch wood so far, yes. Can I keep a copy of this? Mm. Touch wood. Uh, yes, I wonder how much importance just... they actually give to this test. And what are they it's doing? Cute. Hadn't heard the British anyone. version of the phrase knock on wood before. All right. Uh, Be cool. I guess we can ask everybody about this thing now. So let's head down the list on that one. This would be a perfect time for a door to open on its own. Yeah. All right. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. Did you take the aptitude test? Did you do a test before you started at Atlas? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it was all just questions about uh, if I had any illnesses or mental health problems or stuff like that, you know. But they didn't actually ask for any proof, so I could have lied through your teeth on that Well, one. that's interesting that's to know. Interesting. Would be easy to lie on the form. How okay, intriguing. Thank you. Well, Thank you, Simon. From Emma, see if they had anything on that. Have you seen one of these before? Um, no, not not this one exactly, but uh, we had to fill something similar in on the first night at Atlas. One of those aptitude tests? No, fitness and stuff like that. Okay. Filled in a similar form when joining Atlas. But she only went that one time, right? Yeah, she only went the one time, saw it was the same shit and left. Right. Okay. Thank you. Probably be back later. Can we check how they decide whether you to pass or fail on the test? Well, they don't even check. It might just be an exercise of... Yeah, we'd have to ask Paul about that. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yep, give her Rebecca a ring real quick. James likely won't know anything about it, but I'll ask him anyway after this. A few more questions, yeah. if you don't nope. mind. <laughs> nope. Do you know anything about this? It's the aptitude test, isn't it, for Atlas? What do you want to know? Do you know why it was introduced? I think they had some trouble with some unsuitable students. I suppose you have to be careful who you work with. All right. Thank you. Probably be back That's later. That's a lot of nothing, but thanks. Okay, let's head to oh, the yeah, Abbey she farm. She doesn't know about Lisa because she'd go up the lane and beat the shit out of her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a few more I questions. I kind of want to see angry Rebecca just as long as she's not angry at me. Oh, James That's wouldn't know anything about the test. All right, cool. Say, we saw a That's little that. bit of that, didn't we? Did like, we? Do you know anything about devil worship? Why? Who's been talking? <laughs> <laughs> Who am I killing? Okay. A couple more All of a sudden, the word okay. Beckers doesn't seem to fit her very Can much. You tell me a bit about this, please. Uh, it's the Atlas Aptitude Test. What do you want to know? What does it test exactly? It's a test uh, we introduced to make sure that any students didn't have any major personality problems, skeletons in the cupboard, so to speak. We introduced it because we had a little bit of a problem with one of the students. Hmm. Lisa. You are well informed. And what do you think it was that disturbed her? I believe that the course proved to be too demanding for her. Uh, we discovered that she had one or two psychological problems and she couldn't handle it. And did you change anything else on the course apart from introducing the uh, test? We increased the entrance age to 21. Not, wasn't much, but it's 
about the only thing we could do. We didn't want another Lisa. We didn't want students turning around and suing us, could we? Okay. Raise the entrance to 21. How old was Kate? So she was born in 94, but that doesn't help me when I don't know what year the game takes place in. Yep. 94 would make right. her uh, 24, is it this year? Yes, she would be 24 if the game was taking place in 2018. Which it isn't, probably, because the game's about three years old by this point. But even so then, she, she would, would 21. be 21. Um, I can try it just in case it's a thing. Well, never mind. I can't... I can only catch people out on stuff they've said, not pieces of evidence I have, if that makes sense. Yeah. So never mind on that one. Be back later on, if that's All okay. Alright, um, I have a feeling this is going to tell me to go call the chief. Yep. So the chief thing is a soft update, and then... Ryu says, wait, they work to burn away a person's past, but try to make sure they don't work, the people they didn't work with don't have problematic pasts. That's an interesting point. That's a very interesting point. Alright, let's see what Chief says. Make it interesting, Jenks. Chief, I finally saw a bit of what goes on at Atlas. I walked in on a meeting. Very strange. There were several students sitting around a fire taking it in turns to burn handmade woolen dolls. Ryan had an explanation for it, as did Simon. He claimed it was all about burning your past or something. Actually, Simon told me something interesting. He said they also use auto-hypnosis on the course. Oh, uh, what's that? Self-hypnosis. Hypnotizing yourself. Uh. Apparently, that may have been what disturbed Lisa so much. Is it dangerous? Well, not in theory. Nobody I've spoken to seems to think so. Disturb this Lisa so much that it can't be all that safe for me, can it? I suppose it depends on your psychological state to begin with, but I'll look into it. Okay, keep it up, Jax. Always do, Chief. Always do. Oh, very funny, very funny. Bye bye. Ah, he told us goodbye. Okay, so. The chief wasn't convinced that auto-hypnosis isn't dangerous and suggests looking into it further. The other name that was given during that phone call was Simon. And Lisa, but Lisa's gone, so... Yeah. Um, unless she does come back. Unless she... Well, I mean, I bet she comes back at some point, but... Yeah. Not at the moment. It's right. darker. They work to burn away a person's past, but make sure people don't have problematic past. I'm wondering if I can use that somewhere. I think I'm pretty stuck here. I think yeah. I'm going to have to burn it. Thank you. Probably be back Me later. Too. I can't find any connections. Yep. I've already got everything. And out if of, uh... if this if I wasn't playing it for the show, I would try harder. To be honest, I just don't want to drag the show on a thousand yeah. hours because I can't think of anything. Paul claims it's impossible to be hurt or damaged in any way, but he also said Lisa couldn't handle the techniques. But didn't most of these techniques involve hypnosis? Okay, so we were on the wrong track entirely. Right. We need All to... right. Ask hey, Paul, things, I got please. some questions for you. Um, Lisa couldn't handle the course techniques, and... What was it? Oh, auto-hypnosis? Uh, impossible to be hurt or damaged. Okay. Ah, Fair ah. enough. So nobody has ever been affected by auto-hypnosis, except Lisa. Hypnosis wasn't the problem, Inspector. Lisa was the problem with Lisa. That's why we introduced the test. But the hypnosis was the trigger, wasn't it? Lisa arrived on the course believing we were all devil worshippers. She was nuts to start with. We didn't make her like that. Well, as far as I can tell, Paul, you've had one student accuse you of devil worship and two others commit suicide. Some of your students aren't having a very good time on this course, are they? <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> Kate was enjoying every minute of it. She couldn't get enough of it. Really? She was full of the joys of life. Bubbly, confident... Flirty. With whom? You mean with whom? With whom? Pretty much everybody. 
including me, as I remember. You probably really? wish. And uh, did you respond? I don't get into relationships with students, inspector, company to policy. It it's not professional. Right. Interesting admission that Kate flirted with him. There's no way Paul would have turned down an opportunity like that. Uh. Unfortunately, that's not listed here. Because I agree with you. I'd try to call him out on that one, but it's not. Is it in Kate's information, maybe? Possibly spoke to her. No. Nope. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. All right. Hold on. Let's check the light bulb. Come on. Let me check the light bulb. You should call the chief. Wait, what? Really? Already? Really? Wow. Oh, maybe the chief will unlock that we're able to call him out on it. He's going to be pissed about all these times I'm calling him. Jenks, I'm in the shitter. Chief, uh, so Paul admitted that they made a few changes because of Lisa's reaction to the course, but he wasn't giving anything away. They're still all denying the devil worship. Oh, and he mentioned that Kate had flirted with him. How old is he? Well, he suspected she was gold digging. Says he turned her down anyway. Says he doesn't get involved with students. Well, I wouldn't take Paul Rand's word for that. Are you sure it wasn't him trying it on with Kate? I can try to find out. Do that. And make sure he hasn't tried it on with anyone else either. He's a smooth operator by the sound of it, Jenks. He's a smooth guy. operator yeah, by the chief. sound of it. Call later. <laughs> the way the chief said that, the chief wants to be a smooth operator and just can't I'm, be. I'm gonna pin that one down and just pull just it out Just a few randomly. more questions, if you don't mind. Alright. It's like we come into a thing with a good character. He's a smooth operator by the sound of it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Thank you, the Akamara. Alright. Let's see. There he is, says Once the tried to date them. Emma. Hold on a minute. Hold, okay. Once tried to date Emma, but... Why... Uh, where the fuck is it then? Kate? In Emma's guilt, he once tried to date Emma, but... So where does he say... Kate Vineflirt avoids relationships with students. There we go. See, I knew it, like, there I knew it was there, I just needed to find where it was located in the thing. So you avoid relationships with students, except for Emma, who you tried to date. Oh, come on, Inspector, that was a long time ago. Was what about it? Kate Vine? Did you try to date her or not? Oh, don't be so ridiculous, Inspector. Kate was an exceptionally clever girl. She knew exactly what she wanted, and she knew how to get it. You mean that Kate approached you? It wouldn't surprise me if she was playing everyone in the group. Kate had more enemies than you'd think. She was a very, very manipulative young woman. All women are manipulative to dick faces. <laughs> Ten well, o'clock, it's getting late. I'm gonna have to pick up the pace if I'm gonna solve this by midnight. Midnight? I thought you said the next morning. Hold on, how far along are we? Are we at the 65%? Oh shit, we're super close to where I wanted to be at the end of this one. Yay! We've only been- oh, we have been going over two hours. Holy tits. Okay. Um. I'm trying to think. I, I do want to go a little bit further. I want to get this progress to 30 uh, to 65%. Or more. Well, if I go too much more, I'm just going to want to finish it now. So... Let's go just a little bit longer. I wonder who's in the pub. All I right. Who's in the pub? Wow. I really don't think it's my place, darling. It is your place. Yeah. She's tall. <laughs> or he's short. He's very cute. Tell him about Simon. You know what happened to him. So it's going to be that kind of evening, is it? You should have quite right. Only if you deal. Problems. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Inspector. <laughs> See you later. Why the hell would you cheat on a woman like that? Right. Uh, okay. Yeah, they have such great chemistry together. That's amazing. Wait a minute. Just gonna rummage around in here real quick. Aura morph. Well, isn't that interesting? Mysterious prescriptions made out to Rebecca. 
Hey, Beckers, are you on drugs right now? Let's ask if you're on drugs right now. I like that the ambient noise is picked up, like, even though we're not seeing it, there are clearly other people here now. The cupboard downstairs, there's a lot of unopened stuff in it. Is there? Prescriptions. Made out to you. Oh. They're just spare painkillers. The chemist always gives us too many, he's a friend of the family. Spare opioids. <sighs> Hey, Archive, the fans voted to continue playing this at the end of Streaming Sundays, but just for the sake of this Archive, I'm gonna stop the episode here. Don't worry, it'll be back tomorrow, so just keep watching if you're watching this from the playlist. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for another episode.